Hey, it's Mark Wing, the Outdoor Nerd, and this is a review for the Olite PL-12 Valkyrie Weapon Light. Now, it looks to be made primarily for Glocks. It boasts 450 lumens. It's got a single output mode and a strobe mode. And it looks to be pretty badass. Now, I will say that I'm a pacifist and that I don't own any guns, but I'm going to try to review this on my brother's Glock and he's really excited about getting a chance to take a look at it. Included in the box are the weapon light, a little L-shaped torque wrench, mounting rail, worthless instruction manual, and an Olight branded CR123A lithium primary battery. Now this is not a rechargeable battery and it looks like their specs say that it doesn't take a 16340 lithium ion rechargeable. I may get brave and try one in it. The included battery is just your basic CR123A lithium primary battery. Now as I've said this is not a rechargeable battery. As it says do not recharge. But the benefit of this type of battery is that it has a shelf life of 10 years and it's really good at extremes of temperature hot and cold so there are benefits to this type of battery, although personally I prefer lithium ions that are rechargeable. The build quality on this light looks to be fantastic. Now when somebody gives me something for free, I like to find lots of faults with it. And I don't really see anything to find fault with in this. It's a solid chunk of aluminum. It's got a nice uh, Cree emitter in it. Nice smooth reflector. I mean it looks to be just really well made. It's got a rubberized electronic switch, actually two switches, one on either side. And the machining looks good, the anodizing looks good, the mount looks good. Yeah, this looks awesome. For fit and finish on a flashlight, I look for a few uh, certain things for it that I like every flashlight to see. I like to see a nice smooth anodizing without any aberrations or uh, thin spots or anything like that. This looks good. I like to see something free of scratches or tool marks or something that looks like it's been banged around in back of a truck uh, instead of a high-tech factory. I look for a nice feel of the switch, which this has, an electronic switch. It's rubberized and it seems to be uh, pretty good. I look for the quality of the knurling on the head right here and that is perfect I look for a nice centered LED which this has I look for a anti-reflective coating on the lens which you can kinda of see a little blue tinge so this has a pretty good anti-reflective coating I look for a nice smooth reflector with no little glitches or aberrations in that Again, I really uh, don't see anything with the fit and finish to find fault with. Which is kind of disappointing to see that it looks uh, perfect. I'm pretty good at finding faults. It's one of the reasons I became a blogger. And um, fit and finish wise, this is about as good as I could expect. The Valkyrie features electronic switches. And I'm a huge fan of this type of switch. Mainly because they hold up much better over time than mechanical switches. This one has a momentary on, like a lot of mechanical or tactical flashlights. Takes a while to get the hang of. There we go. Yep. But yeah, it has a momentary on feature on either of the switches, I believe. And it's pretty well made. As I've said before, uh, my only issue is that it likes to see a, a dead-on press on the switch to turn it on and off which is fine I mean with gloves or I'd imagine in some tactical situation you would just put your whole thumb on there so overall I'm a huge fan of these type of switches I like to see electronic switches wherever a manufacturer will put them in I like how it's rubberized and the feel is decent for an electronic switch that's kind of one of the downsides of electronic switches over mechanical switches is that mechanical switches have a much better feel. But I'll take reliability and ruggedness any day. 
Now the mode configuration is pretty straightforward, just like you'd want it to be. It has two side switches, one on each side. And if you press either switch once, it turns on or off. If you press both switches at once, you get the strobe. Now again, I'm not an expert in these type of lights, but I think the mode configuration is exactly as you'd want it to be. Um, you know, if you're a cop or a Navy SEAL, you don't want to be fumbling with all these different modes. You just want to click it on or click it off. Or I'm not sure what good the strobe does, but I think a lot of people have mixed feelings about it. But it definitely has a strobe, and it's not in your way. If you just want to turn the light on, you just click one of the switches. Pretty basic. Olight claims 450 lumens for this model, and I believe them. Now, I don't use an integrated light sphere to measure output like a lot of reviewers already do. There's plenty of people out there already doing that. But I do own a heck of a lot of flashlights, and from what I could see with my eyeballs and walking around with this thing at night, the output is definitely on the money. Now, the tin on this model definitely leans towards neutral white. Here you can see it's got some sickly yellow rings here that are kind of an artifact based on the smooth reflector. Textured or orange peel reflectors kind of smooth that out. But a smooth reflector gives the light more throw, which means you can see objects farther at a distance. So overall the beam and tint on this are definitely decent. I wish it had a little bit more of a consistent neutral tint, but it's definitely acceptable. I just ran this light for about five minutes and it's decently warm. I mean it might be disconcerting to some people but it's definitely uh, acceptable and understandable given its 450 lumen output. I also would imagine as a cop or someone in the military this isn't something you'd keep on for an hour at a time. So for short burst I think it's definitely acceptable and I would also think that being mounted to a metal gun or a metal mount, again I'm not a gun expert, would help dissipate some of the heat a little better. We'll find out when it's mounted. Okay, here we are with the Glock 19 and the Olight Valkyrie. Now it's very simple to mount. You just put it on the rail, flip the lever, and that's it. Now I've been told that it's easy to turn it on with, the, with your forefinger, but I can barely do that. I think some people with smaller hands would have to uh, use their thumb and their off hand to turn it on and off. It uh, seems to fit pretty well. It fits snugly. The slide works nice with it. No issues with that. As I said in the re written review, I haven't fired this yet. But I couldn't imagine you've had a problem. You'd have a problem with it. So... Yeah, now the only issue with mounting and unmounting is I noticed that when you unmount it, it just kind of falls off onto the ground there. So you might want to be careful unmounting it. Other than that, uh, it seems to fit nice. I gotta say, this weapon light looks pretty awesome. It looks to be very well built, which is really important to me because this is going to live on my brother's clock. And I would not give my brother anything that I wouldn't carry myself and didn't have complete confidence in. Um, the locking lever seems nice and solid. Something you're not going to accidentally break off uh, when you need it the most. The reflector, the lens, the LED, everything about it seems to be well done. The switch looks awesome. So far my only issue is it only turns on and off the switch if you hit it dead center on the switch. See, If you press it on the side doesn't always turn on and off so you want a definite clear press on that switch but other than that this thing has given me a really positive first impression the mount looks really sturdy yeah this looks like a solid uh, light 